it, it, it might be longer than you want to be popular. It seems like things are going well, man. Uh, to talk about the feel, I mean, that was that was a pretty dominant performance out there tonight. I mean, you won every round, so what's what's the feel like right now? I mean, I feel like I need to learn how to hit harder. Kind of hit like a pansy, you know. Kind of sucked. They're like, you know, you won the middleweight uh, striking record. It's like, what does that mean? I just can't hit that hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny way to put it, actually. We'll talk about, like, you know, how things played out versus your expectation. I mean, it looked like a Sean Strickland fight out there, right? You were doing what you do. But, I mean, did, did anything he do surprise you at all or was different than you expected at all? You know, it's funny. Uh, he didn't scare me. Like, nobody, nobody scares me. But I trained with the Riot for a lot of years, and I gave him a lot of respect with his speed, his timing. It's kind of weird. You're going out there. I'm like hitting. I'm like, wait a minute. Like I'm better than you. You know. It was kind of kind of cool because you have to understand. The Rye is a guy that I kind of looked up to coming up. You know. He's uh, about seven years older. Happy birthday, Rye. Today's his birthday, I believe. So he he's a guy I looked up to, and and going into that fight, it, it kind of meant something to me. You know. He's also a guy that you don't really feel too great about beating just because you like him. Was it a difficult mental challenge, like having yourself in the right mindset as you went in there based on those things? Oh, no, I, uh, it's funny. The moment he said yes to the fight, I hit him on Instagram. I was like, dude, I got to block you. Like, I, I got to learn to hate you a little bit. I got to want to hurt you, you know? Like, I got I to gotta put some distance between me and your friendship. But, uh, yeah, he, he's a savage. Yeah. In round one, like, you started very quickly. I mean, you were absolutely dominant. And then it seems like at the start of, like, round two, round three, round four, he was having moments to start. Yeah. But then you finished strong every single round. So those, those moments where he was starting to do good things, were you – was it throwing you off at all? Or? No, like, I, they're just flurries of, like, showmanship of, like, I'm going to throw hard to the body. And then uh, once I started kind of walking into him and really seeing that there was just nothing left in the tank, the dog was gone, it was like, okay, this is, this is my fight to win. Were you surprised he didn't use more uh, low kicks? I mean, he kicked the leg a couple times, but I, I don't know. It felt like maybe he I, didn't go to that more. I checked a, I checked a couple of them. That kind of like I, I think it stung a little bit, you know. He was getting flashbacks of uh, the old champion, whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah. what's, what's his name? The, Weidman. Weidman, yeah. Again, Weidman flashbacks. No, I, I like well, – I don't really watch you. See, I don't mean to insult you, Weidman, your broken leg, but, you know, I just <laughs> – was there a point that you know for sure? I mean, you, you mentioned like in the end, like it was just gone. I mean, was there a point in the fight you were like, oh, I, I know this is my fight and, and, and the danger was gone? You know, I, I think I might have broke his orbital uh, just because in the second round, he was blinking and rubbing his eyes. And someone who broke their orbital, I'm like, oh, yeah, I probably broke his orbital. It was honestly a testament to see somebody who was probably fighting with one eye finish a fight like that. So, yeah. yeah. I know you don't get excited about rankings and anything and all that, but, I mean, a, a win in a UFC main event, you know, you kind of joke about I'll get to be popular for one more fight or whatever. But, I mean, is this an accomplishment in your career to get to this level? No, I mean, it is what it is. I've been training for so long. I just – it's what it is, man. There's always going to be another killer. I'm going to fight somebody in a few more months. I might win. I might get knocked out. Like, it just – I just like to fight. I like making money. If I go somewhere with it, great. If not, you know, what did Derek Lewis say? What was his last quote about uh, – if you let me run the division, you guys should all retire or something. I, I love Derek Lewis. He's a man. But, yeah, I, I, I'm just happy to be here, man. That's funny. Have you enjoyed the attention this week? I mean, like I said, it always seems like you hate doing media and hate doing all this stuff. But it, I think people have enjoyed your personality. You, you know, I like it, but it's always – it's just – it's such like you should never enjoy fame because it's so – it's fake. Like, it, it's fucking fake. You know, there was a point Uriah Hall was in every interview, every media, Uriah Hall, and now it's like, you know, he's on the twilight of his career, he's getting older, it's like, it's just bullshit. You guys, I mean, you know, I like you guys all, but, you know, it's all bullshit. You guys know this. Yeah. I know, like you said, you, you don't really care who you fight, but are there any matchups that intrigue you? Because you're getting to the point now where you, I mean, not that you'll call people out, I know you'll fight anybody, but are there certain matchups you think, that's a fight I've always I, I, I know, like, two names in the top ten, Brad Tavares, because we train together, and Israel Anasanya. So, I mean... <laughs> I don't really watch fighting, man. I just I like to do it. So should we make the headline? You call out teammate and yeah, champ. Brad Tavares. Fuck you, no, <laughs> no. Brad Tavares has a good overhand. He might knock me out, fucking Brad. <laughs> Last thing for me, I know you don't care who you fight, but uh, when do you know? I mean, how's your body feeling? I feel good, man. My buddy uh, Aaron Jeffries, he's on the contenders, and man, he he deserves he deserves to be in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just. Put all my attention and focus in him, getting him ready for his fight, and then after that, we'll we'll, we'll just start working back into it, you know, because he's fighting a very specialist striker that's going to require me to to be somebody I'm not for the next, you know, five weeks. I know you say you don't care about uh, winning the title and stuff, but is there a part of you that would find it fun to be the champion to see how the UFC could promote someone who says <laughs> some of the things that you get to say? God, no, the UFC is the last. I'm probably the last person that was a champion. 
So Sean, what do you think about the UFC? I mean, it's fucking, it's cool, man. They pay me well, you know, it's cool, yeah. No, I'm, I'm the last one. They probably want to be the champion. And uh, are you, you know, you say that you enjoy doing this. Is it nice to not provide the meth community with a, another? Oh man, you know, it's funny. I've actually never done a drug in my life. I'm like, I just think that, you know, if I do drugs, I'll probably end up losing my fucking mind. So I stay away from it. One of the, I think after I'm done fighting, though, I'm gonna go on a shroom journey. Everybody swears by shrooms, you know. <laughs> my uh, my pad man, my pad man, he's always trying to take me on a shroom journey. So maybe after I'm done fighting, you know, we'll, we'll, I don't know if I'll go meth, maybe acid or something. <laughs> it's funny because at the beginning of that, I was like, oh look, he's actually being a positive role model. But then you managed. No, no, I mean I've never I've never done drugs, you know. But here's the thing, dude. If you're not like if you don't have a lot of issues, go do drugs, have fun, enjoy life. But if you're a guy who's has addictive personality, you know, you watch too much porn, whatever you have to do. Stay away from drugs, you guys. It's going to fuck your life up. Is that your problem? Too much porn? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're kidding me, I'm a, I'm a man in the UFC. That's everyone's problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, besides Sam Alvey, because I always like Sam, like, here's the thing, guys. I'm going to give you some advice. <laughs> you guys got to jerk off. Like, like I don't sure. know if you're having sex on the regular, but, like, you got to jerk off once or twice a day, man. If you don't use it, you lose it. So, I mean, to me... My porn addiction and jerking off, it's not, it's nothing I want. I'm just trying to. It's medical. I'm trying to stay fucking angry, stay sharp, you know? Yeah. I'm also left handed, so that's why, the, that's why my jab's so good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, Sean. What's that, man? So on Tuesday, you're probably, I mean, you're most likely going to be rank, ranked number eight. Um, oh, man, that's cool. <laughs> did, did you envision being a top 10 fighter? Mm, I mean,. No, I guess. It's cool. No, yeah, no. I never really think about it. <laughs> um, I noticed that you didn't really talk in the cage um, that this fight. Was was that just a respect thing? Uh, I mean, he rides dangerous, man. He, he was a guy, he just, he, he took a lot of focus, you know. With me and Jack, it was a boxing match. Uriah, he, he didn't do it, but Uriah has the potential to like, you know, highlight you. So it was one of those things where it's like, I, I really didn't want to, you know, get distracted and fucking wake up with him standing over me. He would be here telling everybody how much of an asshole I am just because I don't watch anime, you know? <laughs> um, there was a couple times that it, it, it appeared that you had hurt, hurt him, but you shot him for a takedown. Um, what was that about? You know what? I mean, maybe cowardice on my part. I, it, early in the, like, the first or second round, I would hit him. I seen blood. I mean, I just couldn't put him down. I, I just, I mean, I hit him with a lot of hard shots. There was one point I hit him, I seen blood leak out, you know? And it just, I couldn't put him down. So I was like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just take the bitch way out and just, you know, take him down, get him tired, and maybe finish him towards the end. And then um, I guess finally just, you know, t t talk a little bit about, about your training camp because, um, you know, everybody at, at Syndicate, I mean, th they just say that you, in training camp you're a yeah. savage. You know, my, my home gym is syndicate with uh, John Wood. He's a man. I have a great camp, but I, I do most of my training there. But I cross train a lot of extreme. You know, Eric, he's a good guy. He's helped me a lot. People understand that I'm such an asshole, and I end up breaking my training partners. So it's nice to have a lot of, a lot of cool guys say, hey, listen, Sean, I know you're a dick. Come on. I'll let you be a dick for one or two days and get the fuck out, you know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, John Wood, Syndicate, they're, they're, the, they're the best man. He's a man. Um, and finally, this, um, I'd, I'd be remiss with asking, that there, there's this dream matchup of you versus Kevin Holland because you guys are both toggers in the cage. Oh. Um, he's on a losing streak, you're on a four fight. Yeah, I mean, he's not really somebody I'd, I'd want to fight just because you, know, you don't want to lose to a guy on a losing streak, right? You don't want to fuck up. <laughs> no, I, I don't have really anything against Kevin Holland, but he probably should shut up and try to win a little bit more. I mean, you should, you know, talking works when you're winning, but when you're losing, bro, it's kind of shut the fuck up and win some fights. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> okay, guys, anybody else? Oh, nope. Well, last one, Sean. Uh, how, if, in case I missed it or the post fight with, you know, the team, what was different between this Uriah and the one that you met years before his and you guys' club? I mean, you know, you, you're like, I was 20, 21, I was in the UFC. I, I would watch him, you know. I would watch him knock highlight guys on UFC. He'd be in the gym and he would knock guys out. I don't think there's anything different, you know. I'm just, I would think I'm just, I think I was just better. I don't know, Uriah's not a guy that I like to insult. He, he's a great guy, he came out there hard, he fought a war. But I just think, I think I just, you know, I'm consistent, I train hard, I'm just better.
Did you want to show that? Because you dominated with the takedowns. Clinch, you were sharper, smarter, yeah. end game, dirty boxing. But you wanted to keep it at distance. Was that like just... I just, I know, it's like, it's... I mean, I'm, I'm great on the ground. I mean, I could, I could do a lot of stuff on the ground. I'm great at wrestling, but when you're a striker, it's like it's a very hard thing to shut off. It's like you're a striker. You're a striker. You really have to force yourself, hey, Sean, stop being a fucking idiot. Win the fight. Come on now, you know? <laughs> All right. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Guys. Just want, want to say one thing. You remember the other day you said Uriah Hall knocks people out and then jerks off at home over yeah. it? He denied that. He says he doesn't. Oh, get the fuck out. He, what, did, what, what did you ask him? What was the question? I actually read the quote. Did he, he was probably like, oh, no, I don't do that. Actually, as he's like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it kind of like broke him mentally for a second. He was like, interesting. Yeah, it's because he fucking does. <laughs> but hey, there's nothing wrong with that, man. If you like to fucking hurt people, you're in the right sport, man. Like, I would love nothing more than to kill someone in the ring. Nothing more. It would make me super happy. I would own that shit, too. I don't know if it would make me liable. I might have to say I'm sorry if the cops came, but I would own that shit. Own it, man. Be a psychopath. It's fucking fun. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.